you raise your hand and then we proceed. Anyone who is willing to lead us through a prayer, you raise your hand and then we will proceed. Yes, anyone to lead us through a prayer? Emily, do you want to lead us through a prayer? Yes. Anyone wants to lead us through? Joshua? Joshua, you may unmute. Somebody says, and we pray. Already, then, Father, one thank you for this good time you have provided to us. We thank you because you have enabled us at this point when we are still alive. So, already, then, Father, we pray that you come and be with us in this lesson as everything goes on well. We pray for our teacher, guide us well in this lesson. In the name of Jesus Christ, I've prayed. Amen. Thank you so much for that prayer. Um, as the rest come in, who can remind us of what we looked at last week very fast? And then we proceed with our lesson for today. Joshua, you want to remind us? Joseph, Maggie, yes, like that we shall go in turn. Good morning to everyone. Good morning. How are you, Joseph? I'm all right. Mm. Yes, we are talking about the electroviolence. Mm. So almost we are we are given a question to to uh, uh, how can electroviolence be controlled at a presidential and lower levels during campaigns. Mm. So we had to first define the basic term, mm. which was the electroviolence. Mm. which was the situation where an eluded behavior sometimes involving physical confrontation is mm. experienced within various places in the process of organizing and after voting. Mm. Then you, you, you say that if you want, you can, you can, you can just see, how can I say it? You say it, find a way to phrase it. You cannot, <laughs> <laughs> you cannot ask me how do I say it. Find a way to say it. Okay, if you want, you can just briefly explain what is all about the, in the next paragraph, which is, what is all about the electroviolence, whereby what I can recall, you had just say, okay. to your side, you had okay. to say that, this, this has been a while yeah, seen as... Your yeah, network is a bit cutting. However, thank you so much for the explanation in terms of definition. Uh, the definition is all right. I said usually after defining the key term, you are inclined to give us the history of it. For example, if you look at the presidential and uh, the other lower levels, what were the common confrontations? Was it between the police and, 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 and the people? who was enacting it. So you people as students, you're supposed to give a little more of the history to add to beef up your introduction. An introduction is made up of five marks, three are for definition and two are for relevant information pertaining the subject under discussion. So that is what I expected of us. And we looked at several, several reasons under that. So today also we want to look at a different thing. Unless someone wants to make another comment, or if they have a question before I introduce a new topic, if you have a question that has defeated you or that you've been struggling to do on your own and it has challenged you, I'm giving the first 10 minutes to attending to such questions 
then I go to the assignment I had given you. I noticed some people do not understand the format of question that I had given us. So if you have a question that has been disturbing you, this is the time for you to ask. I am open to new questions. Yes, if you have any question, this is the chance for you to answer. And then I will be able to, I'll be able to help you. Okay, it seems we have no questions, so I will go. Can you see my screen, for example? Maggie, where are you? Heavens, are you there? Elena, okay, we can see my screen. So today we are looking at Uganda's underdevelopment. We're looking at Uganda's underdevelopment and we are going to pick on a question. We are going to look at the question that over dependency on agriculture is responsible for Uganda's underdevelopment discuss. That is our question. How many attempted that question in our Google Classroom? Because I can check here. Let me even go to my Google Classroom and check. Those who attempted, I was looking at the work today and it was, uh, there's one person who really did well. Let me, let me cross check here, S1, S2, 5. Mm, work, general paper. Anyone who attempted this work, it's, you can put up your hand and then you let us know the definition or rather the introduction you gave or the interpretation you gave. So I marked all of you, but there is one person I enjoyed more his work. Graded. Yes, there is this person, Michael. Is Michael Kalunji on call? Michael Kalunji, are you there? Yes, Michael Kalunji. Is Michael Kalunji on call? Okay, if Michael Kalunji is on call, he can come and give us his interpretation or any other person who can try to attempt that question that Uganda is solely responsible. Agriculture is solely responsible for the underdevelopment of Uganda. If you can be able to do that, you put up your hand and you attempt the question. Joshua, you may speak. Joshua. Yes, class. Can someone do that? Dokas, Elena, Heavens, are you on? Those on call. Our question is oh, let's begin from underdevelopment. What is underdevelopment? When you talk about underdevelopment in Uganda, before I even go to my set question. Yes. What is underdevelopment? Anna, Boami, Benjamin, are you there? Boami, are you there? Boami, are you on call? Are you listening to me? Maggie, yes? Yes. Yes, Maggie. Good morning, teacher. Good morning. How are you? Well, I'm just I'm I'm trying. So I think under the government means like decline in some in like the country according to the development under development it's like decline in the like economy, yeah. Okay, thank, thank you so much. Any other try, any other person who can give us the definition of underdevelopment? 
Maggie, thank you. Any other person? Maggie, you can lower your hand. Raina, Raina, you can give us. Seven, please me. Pardon? Raina, yes, you can try. Raina, you may unmute. Okay, teacher. So, teacher, according to me, I think underdevelopment is like an economic situation where there is underutilization of resources and generally no standards of living. Teacher, me, that's what I think. Okay, thank you. Uh, let's try another person. Joshua, you may unmute. Yes, teacher, under development, I can say it is a, a situation whereby a country or a society is having few industries uh -huh. and a low standard of living. Are you getting me? Okay, low standard low standard of living and few okay. industries in short let us mention things that indicate underdevelopment in uganda that is what i'm trying to ask you can you mention things that indicate underdevelopment in uganda yeah the low levels the low industries being produced because the the industries in uganda are very few and that can indicate underdevelopment and also the Population of Uganda, whom we can call the citizens, are living, are having a low standards of living, whereby they are still depending on agriculture around like 90%, and none of them is having like is the percentage which is a bigger percentage is not attaining a monthly salary. So they are all depending on agriculture and some small, small wages, and that can cause that is causing underdevelopment in Uganda. Hello, teacher. Hello? Yep. Underdevelopment is a situation where there are high levels of unemployment, poor social services, poor transport, transport system, high unemployment rates, yeah, poor health services, yeah, high levels of poverty. Yeah, that's Boami Benjamin, you may speak. Sorry, I had muted myself. Boami Benjamin. Yes, good morning, sir. Good morning to you. How are you? I'm fine. Mm. Yeah, under development, I think it's a low development characterized by low income, or it's spread of poverty low level of literacy and the low life expectancy plus the underutilization of resources. Thank you so much. Reina is saying low incomes, low employment levels, high literacy rates, all those local says poor infrastructure. All those are, those indeed are indicators of poor, poor uh, rather underdevelopment. Uh, unless there's another person who wants to add, Heaven, 
Yes, heaven. Yes, heaven. Yeah, good morning, sir. Uh, am I? Yes, heaven. Yes, heaven. Good morning, sir. Morning, how are you? I'm okay, sir. Mm. Under development, I understand it okay. has. It's a, it's a situation. Mm. It's a situation where there is poverty, poverty mm. all over the country. In most parts of the country, there is less value in the money mm. in the currency of the state. Then there is unemployment. Most of the people, most of the population in that particular country are not employed. And there is, there is I think, the population of the youths, are they, okay, the population of the death rates, eh? the population mm. of the death rates is greater than the population of the birth rates. That's the way I understand it. Okay, high mortality rates and all those things. Thank you so much. Now, I, I remember setting a question in our Google Classroom and I said uh, that dependency, over dependency on agriculture, not dependency, but over dependency on agriculture is responsible for Uganda's underdevelopment. What was that question asking of us? What was the interpretation? Let me begin with Joy Lavin. Yes, Joy. Yes, Joy. Joy Lovins. Joy. Conversation is that? Yes, good morning, sir. Good morning to you. How are you? I'm good, sir. Mm. I think it was actually I, I I'm just trying out I don't know but I please think try. It, mm. I think it was actually requesting for the like like overriding on agriculture contributes to the underdevelopment of the of Uganda. That's all. I beg your pardon, I didn't hear that. Okay, I was like, it is calling for the, like, like it is requesting, like, for how um, Ugandans overrun on agriculture and it makes, it really con contributes to the underdevelopment of Uganda. And it's not able to, to grow or to increase on whatever. Heaven, let's give a try. Give a try for the interpretation of the question. Mm, over dependence, yeah. Uh. Over dependence. 
according i am giving a try eh? oh. it's depending on something over depending on okay over relying on something yet there are other options but you over rely on this leaving the others mm -hmm. giving them less uh, lesser attention mm. yeah and giving this one the most okay giving it almost all your attention putting it your targets are, are set on that okay now i want you to connect it to the question <sighs> Even if you want to breathe like you want to die, you have to give me an answer. That is how it is. <laughs> teacher, 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 repeat the question. I, I said over dependency on agriculture is responsible for Uganda's underdevelopment. So you have interpreted over dependency. Now I want you to, Pardon, I'm to, not here. to, to relate it to the question. I said over dependency on agriculture is responsible for Uganda's underdevelopment. We already discussed what underdevelopment is. Now I want you to associate your definition of um, your definition of underdevelopment and relating it to the first part, which is over dependency. And then you try to give us the side. What is the question asking of us? In short, I'm asking for the question interpretation. Okay, let me take Kakinda, Akandinda. Yes, teacher. Now, what is your really... question interpretation? Yes, my question interpretation, the question was going that over dependence on agriculture has led to Uganda's mm. underdevelopment. Mm. Uh, in my opinion, I mm. say that it means Ugandans are depending, are giving much of their efforts or are targeting mostly on agriculture. Everything uh -huh. they are doing now is relying on agriculture. If it mm. is to get money, if it is to, for their own living, because as you go in the underdevelopment this, this definition, you find there they mm. are the terms of living the living standards of people so in this mm. society or in this country of uganda the people the ugandans are depending on agriculture for their living mm. and how mm. has their over dependence or putting much of their efforts in in, in agriculture how has it led to the underdevelopment of uganda as a country mm. Mm. that is my own understanding Okay, in short, you are supposed to account for that bit. You're supposed to give us how over dependence in agriculture has brought about underdevelopment. That but if teacher, you're relying on what, yes? If I have a simple question attached to that, please do. If I, if I can still, like in that, in, on that question, I give the mm. negative effects of agriculture to a society. Can't it fit with the, with the question? Then you have not yet understood the question. Do, do you hear what my last? No, no, what you think you've understood is to mm. you, but to me, the teacher who is supposed to give you an interpretation, <laughs> I tell you there is something you're lacking. That yeah. is, you're not, you're not understanding the, the, the stature of these questions. If I told you, for example, that... Mm. Uh, closure of schools. Uh, no, no. Let me let me talk about this. Let me say, uh, yes, closure of schools is solely or majorly responsible for students, uh, students, uh, uh, teenage pregnancies. What would you tell me? What is your interpretation of that question? The interpretation of that question would mm. be asking me to give the to give the effect of the reason why to, to expand the knowledge about the closure of schools first, relating first, first to the think about things. First think about the question. Don't give me an automatic answer. <laughs> Write the question down, think about it, give me the answer. 
because I'm not, I've noticed that then those nature of questions that we are starting on have something hooked. And that is what we want to discover. What is the hook? How do we go about the hook? Let me go to Melissa, then I will give my interpretation. Yes, Melissa. Um, good morning, teacher. Good morning to you, how are you? Good morning, teacher. Mm. Morning, so, how teacher, are you? when I read this question, um, I mm. saw... Mm. <laughs> when I read this question, I, I got to know that the question requires us to see how Uganda as a country, how mm. over... You depending on agriculture in as an agriculture as its major economic mm. activity, so mm. effects could be either positive or negative. So I th I thought that I was supposed to discuss being discussions. You can have someone who agrees with the motion, or someone who disagrees with the motion. So I thought it was two sided. I don't know if it's true. Which then, was not very true. Mm. And, okay. So, I think this is the part where I come in. I think this is the part where I come in. This is the part where I come in. Now, when you're given such a question, they are asking of you. So those who are putting up their hands, I'm sorry, I'm not going to pick you for now, but I want to try to make meaning of this, then I can allow you to participate. What are, if, if someone tells you, for example, that you as a student, so let me go straight to the question. Sometimes when you give analogies, people get lost. If they're asking you that overdependence on agriculture, we have known what overdependence means that you're putting all your eggs in one basket and you are expecting to develop. Because when you venture into agriculture, you expect to develop. But instead, we are told that overdependence on it has resulted to a negative thing, which is under development. So now they're asking you to account for it, why has overdependency on agriculture resulted into underdevelopment? So you're supposed to examine what is bringing about that. Why is it that when you only focus on one business, you take long to develop in your life? In short, that's what they're asking. So you're supposed to examine the weaknesses of the of agriculture and how it is resulting into underdevelopment. So when you look at the weakness of, of agriculture, you can indeed be able to look at why it is causing the underdevelopment. For example, if I'm to ask you, what is the nature of agriculture in Uganda? Let me bring you from there. What is the nature of agriculture in Uganda? I'm giving you at least two to three, no, let me give you two minutes to think about the nature of agriculture. Don't put up your hand, three minutes, two minutes write down the nature of agriculture in Uganda, and then I come back to you. Don't just raise the hands, just think about it, then I come back. Yes, class, nature of agriculture. Nature of agriculture in Uganda, those who have managed. Let me begin with Aman, huh? Amanile. 
Justin, Amanile, Justin. Yes. Thank what is what is the nature of agriculture? Uh, the nature of agriculture. Uh, the nature of agriculture in Uganda is mostly based on a small scale. Small scale? Uh, okay, what else? Because we also have a, we also have use of rudimentary tools, i.e. that is it. No maker, I mean, little mechanization is used, in other words. Uh huh. Yes, continue. Okay, let's uh, take on Melissa. Melissa. Yes, Melissa. Melissa, Mainly do family you can all are, yes. Mainly family members are used as labor mm. and the trade used in, in the is through butcher trade. It's mainly subsistence. Uh -huh. Uh-huh. Have you got those ones? Yes, I'm getting, I'm getting. Um, um output is of low quality. And uh -huh, low, low quality. Maybe little or no money is gained. And and they produce for people produce for their own consumption mainly. Okay, that is that. Thank you so much. Next person. Uh, next person. Let me take Chizito. Good morning, teacher. Morning, how are you? Very nice. So, according okay. to me, mm -hmm. I will take that there is overproduction in certain in Uganda, specific there is, seasons. In Uganda, there not, is overproduction in. No, not like that. As in, like people produce specific mm. type of food in a certain season, causing like price fluctuation, something like that. Okay, okay, I had this price fluctuation, uh-huh, that is in the market of agriculture. Yes, then there is also poor storage. There is poor storage. Products. Uh -huh. then, now, the, l let me yes. just pose you there. Let me just pose you there. I want us now to go back to the question. Imagine, in Uganda, where you have subsistence agriculture, that means most of the things are grown for consumption. Very few are grown for sale. How do you expect to develop when you're depending strictly? Because development, we're looking at flourishing economy. How do you expect your economy to boom when you are developing using rudimentary tools? When you're using agriculture, you're using hoes. You don't even, you would, up to now, irrigation is still very limited. Those are the things I'm trying to tell you, that in Uganda, we have a limited, kind of operation in agriculture. So now you're supposed to assess and say, okay, since we are using rudimentary tools, that means you do not grow a lot of crops. Since we are, we are growing crops for consumption, that means we don't sell. It means the economy is shrinking. It means the economy is not growing. That's what I was trying to tell you, that when you over depend, for example, if, you, if you're using one way of operation, it is not going to most times make you succeed unless other words. So here we are saying, how is using only agriculture to develop affecting Uganda's development? In short, agriculture has affected, over-dependence on it has affected Uganda's development because of the nature of agriculture, where agriculture has not yet developed in order to develop Uganda. I don't know if you understand what I'm trying to say, Dokas. Dokas? 
teacher. Do you understand? Yeah, do you understand what I'm saying? No, but do you first understand what I'm saying? Understand what I'm saying. All right, a lot of feedback from Docas. Let me pick Vivian. Yes, Vivian. Yes, teacher. Have you understood? Have you understood my direction of, of, of the question? Yes, yes, sir. Yes. So I am trying to say that how are we affected by over dependency on agriculture? And now the thing is, we are saying under development, they cannot be two sides. We are looking at things that have brought about failure to develop. They cannot be positive. They are strictly negative. That means we are looking at the weaknesses of agriculture. You had something to say? Let me allow you to say something, then I proceed. Yes, Vivian? Uh, I think... Uh... There's, there's very little diversification of agricultural products. So we tend to export more raw materials and then we import already. Uh, then we, yes. Now we that, is import, very, yeah. that is now a point. You are starting now to examine it. That is a good one. That okay. most of our exports are in raw form. And what is the problem of exporting raw materials? Uh, Vivian? Yes. What is uh, the effect of exporting raw materials? I <laughs> compared to compared to the processed materials. Okay, the, the raw materials are cheaper than the processed materials. Now, do you expect to develop? Do you expect to develop when you are you are receiving ten dollars and the other person is receiving three hundred dollars? No. That's, that is what the question asking us to do: to examine the weaknesses of agriculture that have made us to fail to develop. Thank you so much. That was a good one. Let me go to Chizito. Chizito's hand has been up. Teacher, yes, I have like a question. Please do. So, when you're answering this question, do you like let me use this point of law mechanization? Mm. Do you have to say under uh, agriculture over dependence on agriculture has led to under development of Uganda due to law mechanization? Like, then you could explain how law mechanization has caused. Like now, because avoid, this, this is just continue. That is that is okay. However, you will become monotonous answering the same way. So instead, you examine agriculture. You say agriculture has not developed mechanically, or due to low mechanization in agriculture, the country has failed to produce extensively, therefore leading to underdevelopment. Do you see that? Yes. You straight Thank away you. go and look at the weak. Yes, you're welcome. You straight away go and look at the weakness of agriculture, and then you 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 show how it brings about under development. The person calling himself Dell, I will not pick you until you've changed your name. If you're calling yourself Dell, you person calling himself Dell, rename yourself. Yes, teacher. Why are you Dale? What is your name? Chiravo. The famous Chiravo, or this is another Chiravo? No, another Chiravo. Okay, go ahead. I've changed your name. Tell us. Uh, yeah, for me, what I think is that in, in Uganda, agriculture, most people practice farming, agriculture. Then when you reach in market, most people practice farming. When you sell your products, see, most people don't, do not buy. So there is less market in Uganda. And mm. when you try to export it, some people may not afford it. So it may lead to some people quitting 
to be farmers at a high demand since they cannot afford. I have neither understood you nor misunderstood you. <laughs> I have neither understood you nor misunderstood you. Please, could you re-explain and unexplain the first point? Okay, Chai. What I'm saying is that most people, farming is highly practiced in Uganda. Like mm. people may practice farming for like home consumption. Then those people that practice agriculture at large scale and they want to put their products on market, it may be, there may be less, less, less market for their products, which may even mm. lead to, to, the, to the spoiling of their products and they can be damaged or get, Okay. Okay. I think you are okay. You have a point, but the point is we have low market prices. That should be the point. And therefore, people do not realize enough capital from the works of agriculture leading to low. Because you see, this it's supposed to be a chain. Let us think maturely now that if I am a farmer, I am getting maybe in every season I am earning about. 20 million. Okay, let's talk about just 10 million. My standard of life is going to push. That means the items I will be buying will enable me to pay taxes. In Uganda, everything is almost taxed. Even the MBs we are using today are taxed. But imagine where people cannot buy MBs. That means the government cannot realize taxes. That means the government cannot get taxes to develop our country. So I want you to think spiral thinking, cause effect, cause effect, cause effect. You cannot be able to afford anything because you have not been able to buy anything from agriculture or rather to obtain any money from agriculture. That's the kind of thinking I want us to, to have. Benjamin. Yes, sir. I think mm. uh, agriculture is the largest employer in Uganda, but what are the people producing and what are they using to produce? In Uganda today, most people are using rudimentary tools to produce their products. And the products, they come out when they are of a low quality, which will affect the mm -hmm. market. In a way that when they are exchanging, they will get the low rate, which will affect their market. That is very true. The goods are of a low quality. And it uh -huh. means... Mm they will exchange at a low rate. Exactly. Now, what is the effect if you exchange at low rate, leading to under development? Then you come and explain, giving examples. When, for example, when you say that most Ugandans export coffee unprocessed, most of the coffee is, is exported when they're still this stage of, when, when it's not powder, when they're just seeds. Oh, I don't know what they call that. That is what we are saying. So most of them, for example, when you sell coffee, how many of you have, know the price of coffee here? Anyone who knows the price of coffee? Melissa, you know the price of coffee? Jean, so Helena, anyone? Okay. Let me pick Joseph. Joseph, price of coffee? Matthias? What is the price of coffee car in Uganda? Currency. Yes. Why are you exporting it out of the country? No, no, no. I'm just talking about the from the farmer to the brokers. Okay. From the farmers to the brokers, but now it is at a 4,700. It has increased. The last kilo. time I knew 3,000 per kilo. It has even increased. Yeah, it now it, it, I. Yeah. I last increase it at 3,700. Okay, that is good. What about the export yeah. price? The export price. Mm, you know that there are, there are two categories of coffee. 
there is arabic mm. and mm. Uh, so arabic it can be exported out of the country at uh, Oh, is it, is it 5,400? Now, thank yeah. you. Remain on call. Let me ask you, have you gone to the supermarket to buy coffee? The one kg, the powdered one? I have never. The, the big, oh, let, that is where yeah. the supermarket children come in. Let me call a supermarket child. Uh, v, uh, Vivian. Vivian? Yes, teacher. Tell us the coffee prices at 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 Gwendi, uh, at at um at the supermarket. Uh, All the tins that you know from for small to the biggest. Uh, for Ugandan coffee, I've seen two thousand, like mm -hmm. a Then this four thousand, the small one. No, twelve, twelve thousand. Yes, twelve. Uh huh. Then maybe five hundred grams can be like five thousand. Depending on what about the, what about the finest coffee, the so-called imported? Uh, this coffee, I don't Cafe in those I don't remember. I want you to take time and go to the supermarket and you see most of those are in 35, 40, depending on where you're buying. If you're at village mall or where the, the, the better the place, the higher the money. But the whole point is here. Those people re-import at exorbitant prices. So you who are sold at 5,000, they bring it when it's now more expensive, when they have added a lot of junk, when it's no longer pure coffee, that's what we are saying. So those are the things we are assessing. So I wanted us to be able to understand the nature of the question. Um, so, for me, I, I had this uh, I had this definition for agriculture because the key term you're supposed to define was agriculture. That agriculture is both the rearing of animals and involvement in production, where we consider poultry farming, growing of crops for home consumption, and also for sale, as well as tending to tending to animals. Now, how are people are here, Nescaf is 23,000. That is 500 grams, and it's not pure coffee. You know, others are saying the, th the small tin years is 30, depending on the place. Isn't that cheating? So that's what we are trying to say. Then if you look at, we had scored well under, under development, we, we defined it well, that on the other side refers to a situation where a country is still experiencing extreme poverty, poor education, increase in child mortality, gender disparity, and poor environment management. So that is the definition we can give for under development. Now, when you look at the points under, under what happens, why agriculture has brought about this, or why over-dependence of agriculture has resulted into under development, these are the reasons that we are now playing with, that most Ugandan agriculture exports are in primary products and process, which cannot earn enough foreign currency, thus contributing to little development. That is the nature of stating points that I expect from us as we mature now. So then you explain this. How does it result to under development? That is your explanation. And give examples of those products that are exported when they are unprocessed. Agricultural sector receives little attention in the budget allocation, and yet it is a backbone of Uganda's economy. What is the result of it? It means agriculture has not yet been mechanized. It means agriculture has not yet received enough money in order to flourish. So itself, it is not developed. How can it therefore develop a country? That was the angle I expected you to, to look at. Then you look at these other, the raw materials from agriculture are not enough to sustain the available industries, forcing industries, uh, forcing industries economy. So when you look at the products which are produced, they're not even enough because most of the agriculture is subsistent. That means we do not export enough and therefore we do not earn enough. So that's, that's the kind of thing we are, we are looking at. We are failing to, to develop our own agriculture. That means there, there's little we are able to, to receive from it.
All right, sorry about that. Then the next one, agriculture employs fewer Ugandans and the majority are not educated. This eventually leads to low production. You see the result of a, it, how many of you, let me, let, I like supermarket children. I refer you to supermarket children. Uh, Dokas, Didian, Benjamin, let me see, Alexander Edwin. How many of you have tried agriculture, at least in your vacation, this post vacation of two years? Yes, supermarket children. How many of you have tried agriculture? Let me begin with Joy. Joy, when they talk about agriculture, what comes to your head? Yes, Benjamin, when they talk about agriculture, yes, Joy. Yes, sir, according to my think it is all about cultivations of crops and rearing animals, all that. Hey, how are you with associating with animals and that? What do you mean? Like, are you, are you okay with farming? Have you tried it out? If yes. someone told you to leave school and pursue agriculture, would you? Uh, I don't think so because I, I, <laughs> I can't handle it long. Yeah, you see that? It begins with your mind. Your mind tells you you're too soft for this. You deserve a good, cool office where you just speak and things happen, yeah? So that's what we are saying. So mo most Ugandans are not employed and, by agriculture or under agriculture, and therefore... Even the ones who are there are our mothers, our grandmothers, who have little knowledge of um, mechanized agriculture. Okay. Joy Lavin say, sir, I would like you to look at my point. Where is your point? Joy Lavin, where is your point? Joy Lavin, where is your point? Yes. Sir, it is it's like... Mm. No, I want you to say it out and you look at it. Please do. Um, agriculture, agriculture monoculture upsets the natural mm. balance of the soil. Like what I mean is like too many of the same plant species in one field area <clears throat> erodes one erodes the soil of the soil nutrients leading to low products. I don't know whether I'm right or it's just my um, own opinion. Yeah, we, for as long as you're able to associate, for example, maybe you need to tell us, okay, for example, in Uganda, what is the most practiced sort of agriculture? Maybe you see, maybe there is a over, maybe over use of, maybe most Ugandans carry out monoculture, which has, okay, this is the whole point. Exhausted soils due to limited, uh, limited uh, pieces of land to carry out agriculture has also brought about low production, therefore leading to uh, underdevelopment. As long as you tell us that there is underproduction, which brings about <coughs> underdevelopment, I'm okay with that. Is that okay? However, Jean, Jean Johan has been up for long. Jean, Johan has been up. Yes, Jean? However, this question has the other side. Who can tell me the other side? Who can tell me the other side of this question? Is it true that it's only agriculture that has brought about Uganda's urban development? Joshua? Yes, Joshua? Yes, sir. I, I think what the, is the, the other, other side? The other side of the question, as, as you mm. see how it was stated that the overdependence on agriculture is accountable for Uganda's underdevelopment. Now they want you to talk about other factors apart from agriculture that are also exactly. accountable for Uganda's mm. underdevelopment. Mm. Yes. Okay. Uh, Lavin's my call is focus on the low production brought about monoculture. If you focus on it, you're able to handle the question in a, in a better perspective. So what are those other factors that have brought about Uganda's underdevelopment apart from 
apart from agriculture, Yes, class. What are those other factors? So I have so many of these reasons here for agriculture. I will expect you to read through. I'm going to share with you. What I wanted was question interpretation. Um, Melissa, mention as many as you can as I display mine as well. Um, poor education has led to the and the development of the country, corruption, I see. Um, mm. let's see. A small market size, insufficient raw materials in the country. Um, mm. Then there is a poor attitude of the labor. Then there is the, maybe the political climate, but no in Uganda, let me see, uh, environment, environmental factors. There is a, there is a very droughts. poor political climate in Uganda. You copy what I have on the, in the, the, in the, in the what? I have here inadequate capital. Uganda still depends on donors. Uganda's debt burden is very high. That means most of the money we pick is supposed to be diverted to paying the, the debt. Then we have the other one, mm. allow freedom of speech. So sorry about that. Uh, this is not part of it. That's a different one. That's the wrong page. Education system is training more of job seekers. That is a good one. Uh, there is the one I wanted to share here. Just a minute. The other factors are here. Uganda spent a lot of time at war internally, even with the neighboring countries, which have reduced its chances for development. We have poor developed infrastructure. Uganda is having fewer resources than other countries. Little is expected in the areas of development. You know, if you compare Uganda to Congo, Congo has more resources than us. So for me, I am interested in question interpretation that where they tell you that maybe one factor is responsible for a bigger cause or a bigger issue. Usually you discuss that factor first, then you look at other factors. When they tell you that maybe um, corporal punishment uh, is solely responsible for uh, school dropout. It is not true that it's only, it's not true that it's only one factor that can bring about the entire thing, however, you discuss that factor, how corporal punishment, that it scares children from school, it injures them, it affects them psychologically. Eventually they drop out of school, but there are other factors like finances. So you find such a question, we mark 50-50. Other factors we mark 50, and then even th this other factor we mark 50. So we shall give you a five five, which is 30 for, for all of them. There is no way one factor can be solely responsible for everything. You stop looking at cause and if I uh, stop looking at effects only as positive and negative. Look at the question angle for you to be able to understand. Let's not rush. Sit, interpret the question before you approach. Jean, Helena, Johanna has been up from the beginning of the lesson. I pick you, you don't speak. Jean? Jean? Ah, same story. So that is it for today. Unless you have a question, I'm going to upload this work. I will edit a few things. I've seen there's a mistake somewhere. I will edit the work. Poor infrastructure as it is difficult. This is very true. Not agriculture this time. Don't again look at agriculture, Rita. Look at other things. Poor infrastructure as it is very difficult for the country to carry out trade. Do not again base on, do not only base on what? Don't only base on, uh, on agriculture. Now we are looking at other factors. Mining whereby Okay, she's trying to say something. Poor technology, that is true. Okay, so because of time, 
I'm going to allow us to transition to the next lesson. However, please let us now get exposed to as many questions as you as you can. Don't limit yourself. Other, thank you for attending. God thank you so you much, sir. Thank you so much. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. Thank you, sir. Bye. You're welcome. Bye. 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 Bye.